Assay, Wikipedia article audio. An assay is an investigative procedure in laboratory medicine, pharmacology, environmental biology, and molecular biology for qualitatively assessing or quantitatively measuring the presence, amount, or functional activity of a target entity. The analyte can be a drug, a biochemical substance, or a cell in an organism or organic sample. The measured entity is generally called the analyte, the measurand, or the target of the assay. The assay usually aims to measure an intensive property of the analyte and express it in the relevant measurement unit. If the assay involves addition of exogenous reactants, then their quantities are kept fixed so that the quantity of the target is the only limiting factor for the reaction slash assay process, and the difference in the assay outcome is used to deduce the unknown quality or quantity of the target in question. Some assays may be similar to or have overlap with chemical analysis and titration. But generally, Assays involve biological material or phenomena which tend to be intrinsically more complex either in composition or in behavior or both. Thus reading of an assay may be quite noisy and may involve greater difficulties in interpretation than an accurate chemical titration. On the other hand, older generation qualitative assays, especially bioassays, may be much more gross and less quantitative. Etymology General Steps Assays have become a routine part of modern medical, environmental, pharmaceutical, forensic and many other businesses at various scales from industrial to curbside or field level. Those assays that are very highly commercially demanded have been well investigated in research and development sectors of professional industries undergone generations of development and sophistication, and become copyrighted intellectual properties via highly competitive process patenting. Such industrial-scale assays as these are often done in well-equipped laboratories and with automated organization of the procedure from ordering an assay to pre-analytic sample processing. Analytes are generally tested in high-throughput auto-analyzers, and the results are verified and automatically returned to ordering service providers and end users. These are made possible through use of advanced laboratory informatics system that interfaces with multiple computer terminals with end users, central servers, the physical auto-analyzer instruments, and other automata. According to Etymology Online, the verb assay, at least since the 13th century, meant to try, endeavor, strive, test the quality of, from Anglo-French assayer, from assay, from Old French essay trial, and the noun assay thus means trial, test of quality, test of character, mid-14th century, from Anglo-French assay and the meaning analysis is from the late 14th century. For a say of currency coins, this literally meant analysis of the purity of the gold or silver or whatever precious component was used to represent the true value of the coin. This might have translated later into a generalized meaning of analysis, e.g. of an important or principal component of a target inside a mixture such as an active ingredient of a drug inside the inert excipients in a pharmacological formulation which originally used to be measured by its actual action on an organism. An assay is never an isolated process and must be combined with pre- and post-analytic procedures. The information communication or specimen handling that are done until the beginning of an assay are the pre-analytic steps. Similarly, after the assay, the result may be documented, verified, and transmitted slash communicated in steps that are called post-analytic steps. Like any multi-step information handling and transmission systems, variation and errors in the communicated final results of an assay involve corresponding parts in every such step, 
i.e. not only analytic variations and errors intrinsic to the assay itself but also variations and errors involved in pre-analytic and post-analytic steps. Since the assay itself gets much attention, steps that get less attention by the chain of users, i.e. the pre-analytic and the post-analytic steps, are often less stringently regulated and generally more prone to errors e.g. pre-analytic steps in medical laboratory assays may contribute to 30-75% of all lab errors. Assays can be very diverse, but generally involve the following general steps. Depending on whether an assay just looks at a single time point or timed readings taken at multiple time points, an assay may be Assay types based on the nature of the assay process. Depending on how many targets or analytes are being measured. Depending on the quality of the result produced, assays may be classified into Time and number of measurements taken. Depending on the general substrate on which the assay principle is applied. Depending on the nature of the signal amplification system assays may be of numerous types, to name a few. Depending on the nature of the detection system assays can be based on Number of analytes detected Assays for studying interactions of proteins with DNA include Result type A cell counting assay may determine the number of living cells the number of dead cells, or the ratio of one cell type to another, such as numerating and typing red versus different types of white blood cells. This is measured by different physical methods. But other methods use biochemical probing cell structure or physiology. Another application is to monitor cell culture. A cytotoxicity assay measures how toxic a chemical compound is to cells. Sample type and method Many cell assays have been developed to assess specific parameters or response of cells. Techniques used to study cells include Metastasis assay Signal amplification the HPCE-based viral titer assay uses a proprietary, high-performance capillary electrophoresis system to determine baculovirus titer. The trophile assay is used to determine HIV tropism. The viral plaque assay is to calculate the number of viruses present in a sample. In this technique the number of viral plagues formed by a viral inoculum is counted from which the actual virus concentration can be determined. A wide range of cellular secretions can be detected using the ELISA technique. The number of cells which secrete those particular substances can be determined using a related technique, the ELISPOT assay. When multiple assays measure the same target their results and utility may or may not be comparable depending on the natures of the assay and their methodology, reliability etc. Such comparisons are possible through study of general quality attributes of the assays e.g. principles of measurement, dynamic range of detection, analytic sensitivity, functional sensitivity, analytic specificity, positive, negative predictive values, turnaround time i.e. time taken to finish a whole cycle from the pre-analytic steps till the end of the last post-analytic step, throughput i.e. number of assays done per unit time etc. Organizations or laboratories that perform assays for professional purposes e.g. medical diagnosis and prognostics, environmental analysis, forensic proceeding, pharmaceutical research and development must undergo well-regulated quality assurance procedures including method validation, regular calibration, analytical quality control, proficiency testing, test accreditation, test licensing and must document appropriate certifications from the relevant regulating bodies in order to establish the reliability of their assays. 
especially to remain legally acceptable and accountable for the quality of the assay results and also to convince customers to use their assay commercially slash professionally. Detection Method or Technology Assay Types Based on the Targets Being Measured DNAS Footprinting Assay, Filter Binding Assay, Gel Shift Assay MTT Assay Cell Counting Kit 8, SRB Assay, Cell Titer Glow Registered Trademark Luminescent Cell Viability Assay, Cell Counting Instruments and Methods, CASI Cell Counting Technology, Coulter Counter, Electric Cell Substrate Impedance Sensing, Cell Viability Assays, Resizarin Method, ADP Test, Ethidium Homodimer Assay, Bacteriological Water Analysis, Clinogenic Assays DNA Protein RNA Cell Counting, Viability, Proliferation or Cytotoxicity Assays Reporter Assays using IE Luciferase, Calcium Signaling Assays using Coelenterazen, CFSE, or Calcane Immunostaining of cells on slides by microscopy, on microplates by photometry including the elispot to enumerate B cells or antigen specific cells, in solution by flow cytometry, immunostaining of cells on slides by microscopy, on microplates by photometry, molecular biology techniques such as DNA microarrays, in situ hybridization, combined to PCR, computational genomics, and transfection, cell fractionation or immunoprecipitation, migration assays, chemotaxis assay, secretion assays, apoptosis assays such as the DNA laddering assay, the Nicoletti assay, caspis activity assays, and annexin V staining. Chemosensitivity assay measures the number of tumor cells that are killed by a cancer drug. Tetramer assay detect the presence of antigen-specific T cells. Gentamicin protection assay or survival assay or invasion assay to assess ability of pathogens to invade eukaryotic cells. Environmental or food contaminants. Surfactants. Other cell assays. Petrochemistry Virology Cellular secretions Drugs Quality